Are you looking for a unique challenge in Football Manager that will push you to your absolute limits in terms of planning your squad and achieving this unbelievable requirement? All you have to do is have a player play 20 times for your football club from each nation in the world. This is called the Pokey Player Challenge and it was started by Strikerless over on a Dutch fan football page. And I think it's one of the most unique and challenging challenges you can do on Football Manager. Having a player from every single nation play for your squad. Now, they can be dual and even triple nationality. So you can kill one bird with three stones if that makes sense. But now I'm going to get into my top five recommendations to take on this unique challenge in Football Manager. If you love challenge content, then don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel because I've got plenty of these videos and all types of videos to suit everyone's Football Manager needs on my channel. And if there is a video you want to see, comment it in the comments and I will get around to doing it 100% for you. Now, in fifth place is Rapid Vienna in the Austrian Premier Division. Austria has had a varied and vast experience when it comes to developing young players from all across the world. Just look at what RB Salzburg have done in the past with players like Kareem Konate coming through currently, players like Erling Haaland. Brendan Aronson, there's so many of them, but I've not picked Red Bull Salzburg for this this challenge because I feel like it would be too easy. I've gone with Rapid Vienna, one of the biggest clubs in Austria, and one of Austria's oldest clubs as well. They've got a fairly good financial situation going on, £19 million in the bank and only £1 million worth of debt. So you should get a very good financial start to kick yourself off in the Austrian Premier Division. Now the club information and the club vision is to sign players to sell for a profit, develop young players so now you can be go across the world setting up your scouts to find all those talents whether they be from Vietnam, Thailand, South Africa, England, Wales, Scotland, it really doesn't matter. You need to collect them all like their Pokemon and you need to collect them all in the Austrian top division and to kick off to make your challenge easier because you do have to keep in your job. You don't have to stay in the same job for this challenge, but it'd be great if you could do it as one club. They've got good players in like Nicholas Heidel, who's a very, very good Austrian goalkeeper. Other players that will count towards your uh, foreign player count is, and we will take a look at Fali Malayu, who is French. So you've done Austria and France already. So you can tick those off. And the best way to keep a, a track of this challenge is to have a little scratch card or note them down on a spreadsheet. That's the way that I will do it. But will you use Austria Vienna for this challenge? Let me know in the comments. In fourth place, I've gone for the Eredivisie and my team that I would recommend is SC Erenvein. Now, they have got some beautiful kits. As you can see, their love hearts on them as well. So no pun intended there. But they do have some iconic players that used to play for them. Ruud van Nistelrooy, John Dow Thomason being amongst the names that I know and love from that list. Now, the Eredivisie has had a wide history of developing players from all around the world, particularly from Africa and beyond, particularly nations like Suriname as well. But in this challenge, using them, you'll have a good start off. They've got £4 million in the bank and no net debt, which is always very good when you're looking to bring in those players. The club vision sets you up for a nice little easy challenge with them as well. Record a top half finish in the Eredivisie. So you can afford to have players from nations who are not as good as football as others. So for instance, if you're trying to get an Afghan wonder kid, a Syrian wonder kid, maybe even a San Marino, Gibraltar or a Latvian wonder kid, they're all going to be very, very good in this division. They don't have to be wonder kids. They can just be international players from that or just any player from that region as well as we highlighted at the first in the video. But looking at their squad to start off this challenge, you've got a lot of Dutch players in there. Hussein Ali will kick, kick you off with an Iraqi player, so that's one of the tough ones off the list to, to start off right there. Mainly Dutch players, as I mentioned, but you do also have a Norwegian player in there, Usman Sarahi, and a Moldovan international as well. So some big nations that are hard to get good players from already being ticked off with Aaron Vane. Will you take Aaron Vane to the top with your international set of Pokemon superstars? In third place, I've gone to the Bundesliga this time and I've gone for Borussia Muchen Gladbach. Now they've had some big years over the past. They've had some good players play for them like Oliver Neuville back in the day. If you remember him, he was very good. And even Stefan Effenberg as well, who is one of my favourite midfield players growing up. Yes, I know that's a very random midfield player to love growing up, but hey, here we are. They're a good team. The finances are there. They've got £14 million in the bank. 
and £9 million of debt. So you should be able to pay that off in the Bundesliga, particularly if you're going to play in the European competitions, which is what the fans are going to want for you. Top half finish is what the board are asking for and be competitive in the pole cow. So some very, very easy achievements to be done in the first season to be able to keep your job. And in their squad, they've got a very eclectic mix in terms of uh, players that will play there. You've got some Germans, some Swiss, some Italians, Japanese, USA, Denmark got france czech republic armenia as well and armenia is going to be one that's going to be hard to tick off the list because there's not many ballers that you can buy from armenia to, to be able to play and grant leon ranos is one of them and he's got four goals in three games for armenia so a bit of an armenian erling Haaland to have in the first few seasons has got a lot a lot of potential as well you can tick a lot of play a lot of countries off your list already with this particularly european nations if you pick borussia mucin gladbach for the pokey challenge <laughs> Coming in in second place is Cercelet Brugge in the Belgium Jupiler Pro League. Now, the Jupiler Pro League, they have developed so many players from so many different nations. So many good players have come through, be they Belgium, be they from African descent, be they from South American descent, wherever they may be from, the Belgium League has produced players from there. And I feel like this is one of the best leagues that you can start off in with this Collect Them All Pokemon Challenge. And they're a good team to start off with the finances. 6.7 million and 22 million pound in debt might hinder you at the start so from a financial perspective not the best team we could have picked but the reason why i've picked them is the club vision finish mid table reach the last stage of the cup and all the other objectives are fairly easy plus they have got an eclectic mix of players they've got brazilians french norwegian lithuanian which are going to be hard to tick off your list serbian congo i believe that is the congo yeah it is congo and then you've got france ghana Ecuador, Togo, there's a lot of nations you can tick off the list immediately by picking this team or by picking teams in the Belgian League, but this one has a real eclectic mix of good players. And Edgar Shutukas, I've definitely killed his name, but he looks like a very decent Lithuanian centre-half for you to have to kick off. And another Ecuador player in Alan Minda out on the wing looks very, very good. So they've got some fairly good players that you can tick off the list from nations that are fairly small from a footballing perspective. Will you take Cecil A. Bruja all the way in this Pokemon challenge? But coming in in first place is the Ukrainian League and Shakhtar Donetsk. And now you're thinking, why the Ukrainian League? It's because you can have so many foreign players, you can fill your boots with them. And Shakhtar, down the years, have done that traditionally with Brazilians like Willian. They've had so many good players that I can't even forget to name most of them. They've had too, too many legends of the football club darjo cerner as well who's from croatia what a player he is I believe he's still at the football club as well so many good players have come through to shakhtar the next ranks particularly south american players and you can take that forward with their pokemon challenge and just collect them from all nations rather than being specific to the south american continent itself the club vision is you're going to be able to win the league be competitive in the champions league and be competitive in all the cups you're in and grow the club's reputation as well Finances, £40 million in the bank, no debt, so you're going to have to have a spending spree there as well. And Afor mentioned they've got a lot of Ukrainians in the squad, as you would expect, but a lot of Brazilians, Israeli, Georgian players as well. And a Burkino Faso player as well. So some hard ones to tick off the list. Yeah, Burkina Faso and Georgia will be pretty, pretty tricky to tick off, but you've done those already. And as you can see, they've got a lot of foreign players that you can have. So you can tick off seven, eight, nine nations at a time in the ukrainian league whether you pick shakhtar donetsk or not you might want to pick dynamo kiev or someone else it is completely up to you but i would start if i was doing this challenge i would start in the ukrainian league because of the league rules it is unbelievable to get these players in and you can finish this finish this a lot quicker than what you could in any other league in the world in my humble opinion and if, let me know in the comments if you're going to take this challenge on. If you're currently doing this challenge or if you've never even heard about this challenge, I want to know. And I will see you on another video.